Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geekabout. I am Penj and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. And last time out we seeded these fields. We put stuff in them. They've been dug for a little while and we've actually put stuff in them. So in this one we have sunflowers. You can't see them from up on high. But when you zoom in it's tremendous. Little, little teeny baby sunflowers. All in lines, all in lines. Like some sort of, you know, some, I don't know, weird like military troop look. All standing in lines to attention. So that's very cool, I like that. We've got wheat just here. We've got some oats just here which looks a little bit kind of rubbish <laughs> it's a little bit scraggy on the ground and then we've got lines and lines of potatoes now somebody in the comments did point out they made a very very good point and they said you haven't got scarecrows in these fields one thing i don't know is what difference a scarecrow actually makes i mean yeah okay okay from a sort of role play and aesthetics point of view yes a scarecrow in a field is a good thing but um i don't really know what difference it makes like if you don't put one in does it affect the crop quality does it decrease quicker because the birds are pecking at the uh, sort of seeds and whatever and also this is a bit weird as well this i don't know if this is explained in the campaign mode which we've never done but if you put a scarecrow just there it kind of has an area effect so it's got a circle around it and i assume birds in that area are going to go ah as a scarecrow goodness me i am scared let's fly away you put it toward the middle and it highlights the whole field the whole field goes kind of you know a sort of light blue color implying that if i put a scarecrow there it's going to affect the whole field so I'm assuming that by putting a scarecrow in the middle of each of those fields, it just sort of, it covers the whole thing. So if we just drop a scarecrow into each of these, I'm assuming that's right. And do you know what? Let's put one in this little grass field as well, because that is going to be a grass field. But um, yeah, okay, so scarecrows are in. Scarecrows are in. That's good. Um, also, we need access to some water, because when it comes to watering them, I think we might have an issue. So let's go into here. Let's just drop around uh, some wells, because why the heck not? Um, can we fit a well just there? Uh, yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah, drop a well just there. That fits quite nicely. Uh, we can put one probably just here to get access to the two fields there. And we can probably put one behind that house to cover the rest of the fields over there. In fact, yeah, there we go. That'll do. So now they've got access to water and they can go water the fields and such like. Okay, this field is going to be a grass field. So I think last time we fertilized it. Yep, so let's go through and get ourselves some actual grass seed. So grass, grass, order 10 kilograms of it. Yes, splendid, very good. And then let's just have a quick check on what else is going on. So this place here has some tomatoes in it, which is lovely. They're working on that. This place here has... This place here has absolutely nothing in it at all. Okay, well, I won't sell the tomatoes quite yet then. I was looking at what to sell, but... um. No, let's not sell them just yet. Let's get them restocked. Let's restock the uh, juice factory with tomatoes and then sell what remains. This place has got 580 odd kilos of raspberries and 670-ish kilograms of strawberries. That'll keep them going for a bit. Now, we do have just shy of 15,000 kilograms of, of raspberries. Do I need to sell them? When are they going to go mouldy? Uh, let's have a quick check of what we can sell. So tomatoes will keep for now. Strawberries 14th. Um, there's not many of them. There's not many strawberries. We'll sell those strawberries. We'll get we'll we'll get some more. Look, there's two here ready. I think is that ready as well? That one over there might be ready as well, that greenhouse. So yeah, we'll sell those strawberries for now. That's fine. Peppers auto sell. 11th of the 6th for the raspberries. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure they will get through. 576 kilograms of the raspberries in whatever it is the the four days it's going to be before the rest of the raspberries go off i don't think that's going to happen so i think yep let's throw caution to the wind wind here is some caution um have that let's sell that 212 grand 212,000 monies for selling those raspberries that is a lot of money i would love it if someone came came and gave me 212 grand that would make my day all right yeah sell those absolutely sell them that is fine everything else is kind of an auto so let's check the honey prices actually that's not so bad that's that's okay Ooh, oh that's very good indeed oh do you know what See, normally I save the honey. I save the honey to sell it off at Christmas because I thought, oh, look, it gives a boost at Christmas. But that was in the early days when we didn't really have that much money. And obviously at Christmas time, when you're not doing anything else, the money was a bit scarce because you didn't have all the crops and you didn't have the stuff ongoing. But but now we've got we've got 2.25 million monies. We could sell that. I thought we just sell it now. It's at a very good price. 31 grand. Good grief. And multiflower. Multiflower is also very high. Sell, 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 sell. Sell all that. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to put money on the fact that tomato juice price is rubbish because tomato juice is unpleasant. Yay! 
Oh, good. I should have had a bet with my neighbour that the tomato juice prices were terrible. Okay, well, that's fine. We won't be bothering with that then. Frozen strawberry prices are... Yeah, okay. Uh, have we got frozen raspberries? Yes. I oh, know that's strawberries again. Uh, yeah, we do have some raspberries because they're up there. Holy moly. Okay, yes. Sell all of those. 32 grand. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, that's good. That's all very good. That is tremendous. Also, yeah, we've got this bug thing again. We've got the bug with the um, the potatoes. Well, the crops that we put in the ground. Sometimes we put them in the ground and then we end up with the with the what we ordered still in our in our stores. So budding potatoes. I must have bought five thousand eight hundred twenty kilograms of them to put in this field. And then they've all they're all here. You can see there are green lines. Look, there are there are many green lines. There are many potatoes in that field from the budding potatoes that we bought. So this is a bug where it obviously doesn't take it out of your out of your stock. It just sort of keeps it. So I'm, I'm, I'll absolutely take advantage of a bug. Yes, for <laughs> for eighteen grand, eighteen grand's worth of bug. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I shall certainly sell that. If we move time on a little bit, let's just see what's going on. Okay, so that's all fine. That's good. Right, we need some more strawberries. Let's do this. Let's summon some people. You're all the oh, you know what? You're the seasonal workers. Um. Do you know what? Yeah, why not? Yeah, go for it. Absolutely. Rock on. Rock on, seasonal workers. Do that, please. So yeah, you need to get some stuff out of there. Autofill, that'll be seasonal as well. So yeah, okay, fill your boots. And you guys over here, that will also be seasonal workers as well, I imagine. Yay! Right, okay, so the seasonal workers are being put to work. Uh, we just did a thing. I just produced two sheep's milk. Success, go me. 1500 for doing a thing that I was just doing anyway that just happens automatically. <laughs> Splendid news. Okay, okay, that's very good. I like that. Everything is ticking over here quite nicely. Have they now got tomatoes? Yeah, they've got tomatoes in there. That's good news. They've got tomatoes in there. So now we could possibly look at selling the remaining tomatoes because I bet they're going to go off at some point in the relative future. 20th. Uh, do you know what? No, actually. They're not going off anytime soon. Uh, there's 10, 10 kilograms of strawberries. Just sell those. So yeah, they're going off on the 20th. It might be time for these places to work through what they've got and then go back and get some more. So no, let's not sell those for now. Let's keep an eye out for the 20th and see what happens there. Okay, this leads me on to uh, an important question for everybody. For all you people out there enjoying this series, I need to ask you a question because at some point, we are going to have to end the series. We're going to have to stop playing at some point. And I'm going to propose an, a sort of end game, if you like. And please, in the comments, let me know. Let me know if you think my idea is terrible, if it's good, if it's rubbish, whatever. Please let me know what you think. So the Lovely People's Farm is doing very well. It's got a lot of stuff. We've we've obviously got the, uh, the sort of fruits over here, which is lovely. We've got lots of greenhouses. We've got lots of the production buildings. We've got animal buildings by the scores. We've got the big cow buildings, the big pig styes. We've got the large stuff for the sheep and the goats. We've got pretty much all the production buildings, bar two, which I shall come to in a moment. We've got the giant milk factories over here. And we've got ourselves, you know, the big, big warehouses over there, the ones with the cooling and the juice factories and the frozen food factories and all the stuff and slaughterhouses and all that kind of stuff. We've got so much stuff here going on. And at some point, we, we will have to stop. We will have to stop. So what I'm going to propose is that we play until the end of 2024. So that's probably another three maybe three parts two or three videos after this one because we'll probably harvest something at the, at the point of this video there'll be some harvesting going on we'll probably start getting some of these um fruits and stuff out we might be dealing with some of these as well depending on how quick we play and how <laughs> how how little i jibber jabber on about pointless nonsense and um then i think once we've started doing that we'll get a few of those out then we'll probably stop then we'll have one which goes over winter to probably spring again. And then the final part might be then spring until the following uh, following winter. What I want to do is I want to get four more fields here. So one here, one here, one here, one here to complete the sort of three by three grid. This field here might be a little bit wonky because of this puddle thing we've got. But that's absolutely fine. I'm not too bothered about that. And then I think we're done. So we'll have these four fields. They'll come through this year. We'll put the other four in. They will come through next year. So we'll have eight big fields plus the little grass field. So that'll be quite fun. That'll be quite fun trying to try to sort of manage all that and put the spray on them and plant them and seed them and harvest them and plow them and fertilize them and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be quite good fun. We'll have our eight big fields to work on. So that'll be fun plus the grass field. We'll have all this up here. 
Leaving it to next year also means that this pear field will bear fruit next year, because at the minute we only just planted it recently. So um, yeah, that'll come through next year. That needs a bit of moisture. In fact, moisture levels, I'm talking too much, and moisture levels are not looking good. Right, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Water, go go forth and water this. Uh, orchard tractor, absolutely. Sienna more, rock on, sprinkler one. Yes, go and do that. And then possibly that one as well. Go and water that one as well, please. Orchard Tractor 2, Sienna Nickel, Sprinkler 2, da, da, da. there we go. Right, what are we on about? Yeah, so I would say we, if we finish at the end of 2024, my plan today is to get the final two production buildings in. So we have two left. That's all we have. And then we've got all the production stuff. And I think we've kind of covered everything then. We've got everything. The only thing we haven't got is the large chicken coop. I'm not that bothered. I'm not bothered by that too much. So uh, the production buildings we need are the mill, which is jolly exciting to make flour. And we get the seeds and seedlings production factory, which makes seeds from the stuff that we send to it. So if we send wheat into it, it can turn it back into wheat seeds. And we can either use the wheat seeds again on the field for next year, or we could sell them. I mean, some stuff we'll probably keep, which would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? So um, I want both of those in. And then I think we've kind of done everything. I think we've kind of done everything. We'll have one of each of the buildings. We've got pretty much all the stuff and we've got wind power and we've got strawberries and greenhouses and everything. So after that, I think once we've got all the production buildings in and all these fields, it will be just a case of just repeating. So if we do any more, if we went to a further year to 2025, it would just be a case of me repeating what I've done and adding another field or something, which, you know, you kind of get the idea. It's done now, isn't it? I think the farm will be finished at that point. But worry not, because I want to go and tackle some of the scenarios. I haven't done any of the scenario work yet. I've done the video that details what they all are and all the different conditions and stuff, but I've not actually played any. So I'd quite like to get on with some of those. So I think if we finish this, we'll then maybe have a couple of videos a week of the scenario attempts. And I'll put, you know, put maybe the first one to a vote on the Discord or on Twitter or something saying, hey, maybe I'll do two. Maybe I'll do a Twitter vote and a Discord vote because not everybody that's on Twitter is on the Discord and vice versa. So, um, yeah, so if the first two, maybe I shall leave it up to you lovely people to actually tell me which scenarios to attempt. But, um, yeah, that's what I kind of want to get on with now because, yeah, yeah, this is this is sort of running its course a bit. It's sort of running its course. There's still a lot to do now. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Is that a good plan? Is that a sensible plan? Should I should I go for that? Do you think it's nonsense? Do you hate the idea? Please let me know in the comments what you think about that. Play it to the end of 2024. See what happens then. <laughs> you know, end it at end it at 2024, and we'll call it quits. We'll call it good. It'll all be lovely and fine. I'm absolutely certain. Right, let's just get these out of the ground. There we go. Out of the ground. Out of the plants. Whatever it is from between the leaves. So um, yes. Please let me know what you think in the comments now. I'm going to leave it a bit before we build our seed factory and our mill. I'm going to put them here. Now, I don't think they can both fit in this space. I bet they can't. The mill was not massive, but it was, I think it filled up most of that space. So maybe not the mill. Maybe put the mill there. And then this space here is a bit wasted. There's a path leading to my house. I don't even think I need a path to my house, do I? No, I can just entirely get we entirely get rid of that. Get and right, hang on. Now let, let's zoom in and be careful here. Let's do that. Let's get rid of that very carefully. And then let's get rid of these road bits very carefully. Like that. There we go. So people can still get in their house. There's a path going to their house, which is good. And there's a big gap here. And I don't need to get into my house. And if it does start questioning it, I can just put a path down here. So a building can go here and a building can go here. We're not doing any training, I've noticed. Uh, yeah, we're down to the end of the training as well. Another reason to sort of finish this run through. Fungus on my field. Ah, okay, right, hang on. Let's uh, let's sort that out. Uh, let's do this. Reduces the probability of diseases of my animals by 10%. It's not like the animals get that ill anymore. But yeah, okay, why not? Yeah, let's have that. Why the heck not? Okay, come out of that. Show that. What's that? Oh, no, it's fungus on the, on the big field. Right. Emergency, emergency. Uh, Antifungus, yes, please. A machine. Uh, let's have the blue tractor. Oh no, they're both out delivering the sprinkler things, aren't they? That's bad news. Oh, hang on. We can still do this though, can't we? Oh, Nia Dunn's going to have to come all the way over. Hang on. Are you are you picking up the sprinkler? Yeah, I think they're picking up the sprinklers. Let's push time on. Also, um, you might notice I've, I've well, 
I mean, not that noticeable, to be fair. I've notched some of the graphics down. I've gone to a custom graphics setting and I've notched stuff down, like shadows. So our shadows are not as high a quality anymore, which I'm entirely sure is something we can all deal with. Because, um, no, not watering, you stupid man. There, there we go. Antifungus. Yeah, I didn't think it was that important to have the um, the shadows of a high quality. So I thought, Do you know what? I'd rather... <laughs> I'd rather the game run properly than have really, really, really good-looking shadows in the game. Okay, good. We'll spray that. And, uh, yeah, okay, it's all looking good. It's all looking absolutely fine. Let's just go back here and check these again. Have they got enough stuff in? 351. There's not a lot of tomatoes in these. Oh, that one's got a lot. That one hasn't. Now, when do the tomatoes go off? Sell, 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 sell. They're 23rd. Oh, ages away. Absolutely ages away. Okay, okay, that's absolutely fine. Just checking when the strawberries are going off. I noticed that when they're harvesting them, I'm getting less because I'm using the seasonal staff who have got four out of five harvesting skill, which we can't improve. Obviously, our own staff we can train, but the seasonal staff we can't do anything with. So I got 290 strawberries, or kilograms of strawberries, not actually 290 strawberries, but 290 kilos of strawberries out of these rather than the 324 or something, is it? I can't remember what we get. We normally get over 300. So, um, yeah, there is a notable difference. I mean, it's not gargantuan. It's not going to change the world or anything. But, um, yeah, it's it's a notable difference. Right. So what's everything doing in here? 100 kilograms of strawberries. They're going to need more strawberries and they're going to run out of raspberries very soon. So the raspberries are all going to be gone. And that's absolutely fine. That's fine. So we'll get rid of those. The raspberries are going to be depleted. We've got ourselves some more tomatoes, which is lovely. And raspberries are gone. So they're working solely on strawberries. Okay. So now, I think we put it back on normal speed. And we go and check the sell prices of things. Apple trees are going for an absolute flipping storm. Can we make apple trees? I wonder if the... Mm, I bet the seedling place doesn't let us make apple trees, does it? I think it's more seeds. On the picture on the bottom of it, it looked like seeds of like wheat and barley sort of crops rather than... Uh, sort of greenhousey things and trees and stuff. Um, yeah, we'll never know. I'll check. I'll check when it's built. Okay, so strawberries. Yeah, these ones are going off on the 18th. Can you take these? Take these load of strawberries. Take those ones. Because you've not got a lot left in there. I don't think you've got very much left in there at all. 81 kilos. Are you going to be able to go and get these ones that are going off? Because that would be really ideal if you could use those. Because then that that's fine. That then, you know, uses these up. And then I can sell the rest. Let's speed time on. Let's see what they do. Uh, okay, well, there are some strawberries that need to be harvested just here. So let's go back. Let's do this. And I am going to pick. I'm going to pick our normal people because I want the maximum sort of crop yield. Thank you very much. So let's do that. Let's get those out, which is lovely. And then this one here as well. Yep, is ready for harvesting. So let's get you and you and you. Tyler Burton. Very good. Okay. So they're working on those. That's fine. They'll get me a lot of strawberries out. S tomatoes aren't going off anytime soon. That's fine. I'm going to go and pointlessly check the tomato juice just to see if anybody's got a flavor, uh, taste for it even. No, <laughs> everyone hates it even more. Do you know what? I might just sell it. I might 90 grand. Just sell it all. Just make it go away. The price is only ever coming down. It's going to be worth nothing soon. <laughs> it's going to be worth nothing. Use it as some sort of, I don't know, industrial cleaner or something. Uh, frozen strawberry prices are not too bad. Frozen raspberry prices. Sell them, sell them all. There we go. Lovely little song there for you. I don't know why there was a little song. Um, right, okay. That's all looking fine. The strawberries, those strawberries are going off today. Those strawberries here, that's very confusing. There's two different going off dates. Yeah, it's the same kind of quantity of strawberries. It's very complicated. Do you know what? Sell all those. That's 10 grand. 10 grand of strawberries. They would have gone off otherwise, I suspect. We would have lost out five grand. And this place here, with its minimal amount of strawberries left, is just going to have to wait for these guys to finish harvesting that. That's absolutely fine. They'll just have to wait. It's tough. Other than that, everything else is ticking over quite nicely. So yeah, we'll leave it a bit. We'll leave it a little while. How long are these things going? Ah, no, I know what we could do. Grass seed, of course. We ordered it and didn't actually put it in the ground. Grass seed, yes. Uh, a machine. Let's use one of the green Etos tractors because they're down here. Let's get Nia Nia done. And the seed drill off your pop. You've got a little job to do. That is very, very good. Right. Soil moisture is always oh, pretty, pretty critical. Okay, because it's not raining. It's not raining. It's June. It's it's very warm. We need to actually water some of these. So, okay, let's get a machine. Let's not get Sienna Nichols to do it. Let's get Eva Riley to water this. So, green Etos tractor 3 with a sprinkler. Do that. Now, oh no. Oh no, how many? What are these like? Ah, the cherry. The cherries are very low. They're fine because they've been watered. 
Oh my goodness me, everything is looking pretty terrible. Oh, the, the, the soil moisture level, can we have some rain please? Some rain to be very, very useful. Um, okay, no, 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 right, I, I have a plan. Right, pause, 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 pause. I have a plan, which normally is bad news, everybody. It's normally terrible news. Um, we've got a thing here. We've got a couple of spaces in the medium brick garage. Do we want to get a couple of sprinklers in there? How many sprinklers have we got down here? All the way down here. We have ourselves um, hardly any. None? We must have a sprinkler. We must have a sprinkler down here somewhere. Oh, no. They have got to drive all the way up to the other place to do it. Have we not got a waterer, then? Did I not buy any kind of watering equipment? <laughs> oh, what an absolute spoon. Right. There is space here, which is absolutely fine. So what we'll do is we'll go to the, uh, to the market just here. <laughs> Those plants in the ground, they don't need water, do they? Probably not. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Um, sprinklers. Yeah, let's buy a couple of those and let's put them into not that small garage. Small. Let's put one into small garage too, because it can fit. That's good. And then let's get another one, sprinkler, buy a brand new one, because why the heck not? Put that into oh, small garage too as well. Small garage too looks very full. Uh, okay. Are you sure it can fit into small garage too? I'm going to put into medium brick garage 8. The best of all the medium brick garages. Can it fit in there? It can. And they can hold lots of things. Oh, okay. Oh, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Would well, you know what? Should we get another one? There's three Etos tractors down here. We might as well order another one of those, possibly. That's a, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. Order that. Bung it into not small garage 1, small garage 2. Oh, okay, doke. Fine. Right, now we need those to be delivered. Yeah, we need it to rain. Could we have some rain, please? Everyone do a rain dance. That'd be really useful. What type, What date do the uh, tomatoes go off? They were terrible feeling it was a 20th. 27th. Absolutely fine. We've got loads of time for that. Loads of time. Tomato juice. Ooh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a roaring high. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you've gone and got the seed drill for the, for the grass, which is fine. That's good. In hindsight, possibly should have used you for watering fields, however. Right, are these bringing my sprinklers? Yes. So my sprinklers have been delivered. Right, okay, we now have three sprinklers. Right, pause, 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 pause. So they've got three down there and some up here. This field here, we can water this field using people. We've got a seasonal workforce. They're not doing anything. They're sitting about doing absolutely nothing. So let's get everybody involved, apart from the tractor driving people. We don't want the tractor driving people to be distracted. Plus we'll keep back, say, six people. So we'll take about you, uh, whatever, you and you. Everyone else, go and water that field manually, please. That is going to be a very onerous task. I do not, I do not envy you at all. That needs some, that I'm not so bothered about. Because we're not going to get any crops out of that field right now, of this year. This and this I am bothered about. So, watering, machines, orchard tractor, Sienna Nichols. Sienna Moore looks a bit tired. Oh no, what sprinklers of which? Sprinkler 2, I'm going to assume, is in here. Um, sprinkler 1 is where? Where is Sprinkler 1? Is Sprinkler 1 up here somewhere? Where is Sprinkler 1? Or was it in the little garage? Sprinkler 1 is where, though? Because I couldn't select it. Is Sprinkler 1 out and about? Is Sprinkler 1 been deployed somewhere? Have I, have I set Sprinkler 1 to actually go somewhere? I really can't remember. Sprinkler 1. None of them look like they've got any sprinklers in the fields. No, some strawberries have been harvested. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, well, let's go down here. Let's go down here and water these. So, sunflower. Oh, look at it. Um, you're watering that. That's good. I've set you to do that already. Go me. Uh, this one. Uh, let's choose the green Etos tractor. And uh, anybody else? See, any more you'll have to do. Oh, man, we haven't got enough people. There is a trailer with water. It's just there. Ah, oh, dearie me. <laughs> I am such an idiot. Okay, whatever. Sprinkler three, you can do that. And then these two can be done in, in other methods. Right, okay. This is bad. This is bad because we don't want our crops to die already. We don't want our crops to die. They've only just been sort of brought to life. They've only just been planted. Right. Fungus on the foot. No, not fungus. This is bad. This is really bad. There's fungus and no moisture and it's all going wrong. Right, the potatoes are in dire need of some water. Ah, okay. Uh, right. D yes. Good. Fungus. Things are ready to be harvested. Great. I need to deal with these other issues. Or there'll be nothing ever to be harvested ever again because they'll all be dead. So that needs. That's being watered. Apparently, 
Is the sprinkler in the middle of that field then? Is it there? You could have fooled me, but okie dokie, that's fine. So that's what that's doing. Uh, that, have you... Ah, right, that's done. That's done. That's planted. That's planted. Uh, 39 days left. and you just wait for the tractor thing to do its silly driving around nonsense? Uh, you're going to put the sprinkler into the middle of there. Good. Right, so that's freed up a tractor. That's good. Let's water the potatoes because they're just going to die. They'll just be dead. Right, green Etos tractor. Um, you, Naya done. And a sprinkler number four is down here. Okay, do that. What I think we might need as well is we might need another tractor drivery person who can also have some other skills. So, um, yeah, anyone there? Not production, though. Production. There, harvest it. Oh, no, that's not tractor driving. Tractor driving in orchards? Not bothered. Um, tractor driving on its own. Tractor driving in orchards. No. Okay, right. Let's go back in again. Tractor driving and... Tractor driving in strength or to tractor driving and orchards. Not orchards. Harvesting stuff will be fine. There. You. You can drive a tractor, and when you're not doing that, you can go and harvest stuff. Reuben Bird. Yes, you will do, Reuben. You can go into num house number 15. That's good. And then we'll uh, level you up a bit. Bishy bashy bosh. Splendid. Right, can you... Have we got another tractor? Is there a tractor spare? Is there a tractor spare? It was fungus. Uh, you do not have enough resources. I need 149 litres. <laughs> Oh no, I've only got 85 in storage. Yes, these fields are big. I need to order some of that then. Um, okay, well whilst that's happening then, can we water it? Can we water that? The blue tractor. The blue Etos tractor. That's all the way over there, isn't it? Um, okay, yeah, well Ruben, go and do that then, my good man. And use the trailer with water. Why the heck not? Just go forth and do it. Everybody water everything. We're in a water crisis. This is bad. Right. These are being dealt with. That's absolutely fine. This one's finished. Can we just take this out of here and do something else with it, please? This is finished. This field is finished. Yes, beautiful. Okay, good. So you've brought that back. Take take it back. Where are you taking the thing? Where are you going? Why are you dropping it off all the way over here? Was that sprinkler number two, whatever it was, or number one, that I should possibly not have let you have because it's from flipping miles away? Yeah, sprinkler one and two, they <laughs> belong over here. Okay, so they are... Uh, let's do that. Yeah, still the frame rate is not very good when it's when you're, you're moving about. That field is looking nice. That's good. That field will be topped up. That field needs some moisture, but it's being watered. That field is being watered. This is all very fine. That has been dealt with. They've watered that. They've watered it, and I didn't even see. A big load of them just appeared and watered that field, and I did not even see any of them doing it. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Uh, oh, dearie me. Right, you, you desperately need some water. So let's get Sienna Nichols and Sprinkler One on that. Uh, that there is fine. That there is probably not as good as it could be. That does need some water because that'll die. If that gets to that, I imagine the plants die. So I do need to I do need to do something with that. Orchard tractor. Uh, Eva, come away all the way from the other side of the farm and Sprinkler Number Two, please. Yep, do that. I am going to treat us to a new green Etos tractor because I just think we need another tractor. We need some more assistance around here. And it might be good to put it in they've got the orchard tractor. So let's put it down here. I'm going to medium brick garage eight for now. That's absolutely fine. So it's not being delivered yet, which is annoying because I could do with it kind of now. Because the um, the grass field is also slightly suffering. But the blue one is done. So the Etos tractor is done from over there, the blue one from over this side of the farm. From the what the north the north side of the farm? I don't know. I don't know which way north or south is. I'm not entirely sure which orientation the farm is in. But okay, so that's that done. The field in the corner is being is being watered by the sprinkler. That's lovely. That one on that one do need some water. The apples are looking fine. The cherries are being dealt with. That the one down here is looking okay. That there needs some water. Deary me. Okay, so let's water that one with the blue tractor. And whoever can drive it. Reuben Bird, you're new. You can come in and do that. Um, yeah, do the... Oh no, not the trailer with water. Because you're going to come, you have to come all the way here to get the blue tractor. Then go all the way back that way. You might as well get the trailer with water. Just do it in one go. Just do it in one hit. Why not? And then, should we get the seasonal workforce to water one of these fields? Yeah, do that. Absolutely. Everybody go and do that. Again, let's save some people. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll save six people. Everyone else go and water that by hand. Meanwhile, we've got stuff in here. Look, greenhouses. We've got greenhouses that need stuff doing. Oh, no. I might possibly miss the selling of the tomatoes. 
I might have missed that in all the furore of having to do all this stuff. I might possibly have messed that up. Okay, never mind. Whatever. It is what it is. They've gone. It's fine. We'd probably give them away or something. I don't like to think of them as rotting. We'd probably give them away to a homeless shelter or something. Because that's, kind of, that's the kind of farm we are. We're a lovely farm. We're the lovely people's farm. So yeah, we probably wouldn't just let them rot. We would have given them away. That's what I'd like to think anyway. Right. Got no people left. So no people left. So it's all hands to put weeds on the field. <laughs> Not weeds. Oh my goodness me. The oat field is diseased. Right, okay. Uh, right, spray the oat field with the antifungus stuff first. With a machine. Well, there's no one to drive the machine. <laughs> ah! Right, okay. You were just coming back, weren't you? Somebody was just driving back. There, I think it was you. Right, please, 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 please. Go to for antifungus, go to machines, do all that. Yes, Sienna Nichols, absolutely. Just somebody go and deal with this field that's full of, I don't know, weeds and fungus and probably locusts and bees and doom and death. I imagine that field. No one's going to want to have these oats, are they? They're going to be horrible. Right, that's good. That greeny toss tractor is done. They've finished picking that one up. Uh, this one here, that field's nice and moist. That is fine. That is uh, moisture's fine. Fungus on the field. Which field? Oh, get the heck out of town. Right, that needs watering first. <laughs> this is just never ending. Green dust tractors, sienna more, maybe not sienna more, maybe nigh done because you're a bit nearer. Sprinkler 5 green. Go and put water on that field. What's going on with these other fields? <laughs> this is, ah, it's all getting too involved. That's being watered. That's fine. That's okay. This one is fine. The cherries are fine. The apples are not particularly brilliant. Oh, no, now that needs some water. Right, can anybody do that? Orchard tractor one, sienna more, sprinkler three. Yeah, rock on. Do that, please. Absolutely. And then we need more tractors to spray these fields because they're covered in various grot. Grot and grime. So we need to sort that out as well. Ah, dear me. Right, okay, okay. There's a bit of a lull going on. A minor lull. Let's look at our new buildings we can put in. Because this means that, you know, stuff could just go wrong around me and I completely ignore it. So a mill, 84 grand. And a seeds and seedling production place, 84 grand. So one's going to go here, one's going to go here. Now, do any have a sort of an in and an out side? Like the cow sheds have two sides. They have to be by a road on both sides. The mill uh, does not, by the look of it. No, the mill doesn't. It just points that way. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Uh, one thing I don't know is how many people, how many people work in these things. I really don't know. I'm not entirely sure how many people work in those particular buildings. Do you know what? Let's put the mill there, and then we can put some workers in this house. We can move people about. If it's sort of three or four people, we can shifty these people around. So that's fine. So we'll tuck it into the corner just... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Let's check how big the seedling production place is. I, I get the feeling it's probably not that big. No, okay, it's teeny tiny. Okay, that's fine. Well, I think we put that there then. And then we can load some workers into this house for the seedling thing, if possible. Depends how big it is. So if we drop that, say, there, like that, that means I can then get a road to my house just for the sake of completion. Little path like that. Splendid. So that's good. And then we get ourselves a mill. Go to the mill, build the mill, say there. I think that's a good idea. Build it that way on. Lovely. So they're both now constructed. They're both constructed and ready. We've got 29 people again available, which is lovely because we've got stuff to harvest. So let's do this. Go to here. Let's not autofill. Let's pick the guys that are available. You lot. Splendid. And then you can get some strawberries out. No, you can't because I'm pressing the wrong button. Autofill. Yes, bring in those guys. And actually, do you know what? That's not so bad, because they're all the five out of five guys. So yeah, that'll do. Splendid. Right, okay, so we'll get some strawberries. We've got some tomatoes going on. Have you got tomatoes in there? Yes. You've got tomatoes in there? Yes. You've got strawberries, hopefully. No, there are no strawberries. Okay, we need some more straws. Do this. Uh, no, you guys are rubbish. Let's not have you guys right now. Let's have the people that are good at actually harvesting stuff. Uh, my proper, yeah, my full-time employees, not you temporary bods. No, no, the full-time bods, yes. Okay, that's good. Right, speed time on. Oh, no, what's that? Drought on my field? Oh, no. <laughs> Quickly, water these fields. I completely forgot about these. Uh, water them, water them, anybody. You, go and water those fields. And this field probably needs a little drop of water as well. Yep, go and water that. Go seasonal workforce. Did I call you plebs or whatever it was before? No, you guys are great. You're the best. You're the best workforce. Right, clear all these alerts. Oh, there's so many alerts. Click, 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 click. Right, okay. The soil moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. 
Oh, I like that. Look, that's very cool. The seedlings place just here, they've put in, whilst it's being built, the four, I suppose they're greenhouses, the four little sort of, whatever they are, tunnel type things, where they're um, going to grow the seedlings, which is exciting. I quite like that. They bothered to put that in. So yeah, there's the base of that's in, and there's sort of little tunnel things. And then this bit here as well is in the base of that's in. They're just getting on with that. I've set that to be um, unfungicized. They had to order some of the stuff in, so hopefully it's here by now. And I'm sure unfungicized is an actual real thing. I've got enough resources. Okay, auto fill that. Near done, greeny toss, and spray one. Go forth and do that field. Then we need to do this field again. And then everything's coming down in moisture again. We really need some rain. <laughs> we desperately need some rain. Let's go and check these other fields just to make sure. Rah, these are ready for harvesting. These are ready for harvesting. Oh, I found a contract thing. Whatever. Yeah, bye-bye. Whatever. I'm not that bothered. Um, this one. Harvesting. Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely. Uh, machines. Do the thing. Reuben Bird. Etos Tractor. Box Trailer. Everybody. Pretty much everybody. Bar. Let's keep three of the stronger people behind. One, two, and three. You can go through and do some other stuff. But everybody else, pile in. Pile in. Get this raspberry field done. And then everything else, that's okay for moisture. That's not okay for moisture. That's very much not okay for moisture. We need to do that. We've got no tractors left. Oh, man. We need some more tractors. We really need some more stuff. We've already bought an extra tractor as well. They're all in use. All of our tractors have been used for everything, for harvesting and doing all sorts of other things. Goodness me. Okay, can we move that sprinkler? Can we repark that to Small Garage too? Okay, lovely. I think we buy ourselves another tractor... Uh, there we go. Yep. Lovely. Put that into number two, one, eight, number eight there. Put that into there and then get ourselves another sprinkler. Sprayers and watering. Um, yeah. Do we get a trailer with water or do we get a sprinkler? I don't really know kind of what the difference is. This can do all those fields and that can do, the sprinkler can do everything. The sprinkler can go on every single field type, whereas the trailers can only go on certain ones. They can't go into orchards. But that's fine. I imagine they're quicker. I imagine the trailers with waters are quicker. So let's get ourselves one of those, put it into parking one. That's fine. And do you know what? Oh, possibly shouldn't have shut that down. Do you know what? Let's go completely mad. Get ourselves a sprinkler as well, just in case. We can put that into a small garage one? No. Okay. Oh, maybe not then. Animals are sick. Call the vet then. Large pigsty work person. Don't wait for me to do it. You call them. Um, oh, okay. We filled this up. Oh, we have. We, okay, we've got plenty of sprinklers in there as it is. We've got loads of sprinklers in there. Okay, is that done? That's not been sprayed yet. That's taking ages to be sprayed. Oh, goodness me. We need more stuff. Okay, right. It's all fine. And these are done. First thing I'm going to do, though, I'm going to go check on everything else. That's being sorted. That is okay for moisture. That's brilliant. The pears are okay. The pears are fine. The apples do need some watering. The apples desperately need some watering. Also, this one here as well is going to need some, some moisture at some point. I forgot about our little thing here. Oh, 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 oh dear. Um, yeah, autofill that. Two. Why are there two seasonal workers? Oh, are they doing something else? Yeah, okay, fine. Go and water that, please. Go and water that as an urgent thing to do. Uh, and then we'll harvest those with these people. So, yep, yeah, you, you, and you will absolutely suffice. Uh, right, okay, right, let's just hurry time on. Let's speed time on. This should be done soon, actually. We'll get that out of the way now. That's for prevention of animal diseases. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. We haven't seen animal disease in ages. And just before I'm about to complete the training, which lessens it, we get some eel animals. There we go. Uh, right, last bits of training, then. Which one do I want to do? Uh, well, do you know what? That's 14 days and it's two grand. I don't need a loan, but I might as well just get it out of the way. Why the heck not? I'm not going to use any of the remaining training things, but I'm just going to get them for completeness. Just for the sake of completeness, I'm just going to actually research everything because I want to. Ah, oh, Now, I did wonder why this person was taking so long on spraying this field. It's because they've got the orchard sprayer. They've got the little sprayer, which has probably got a really, really narrow spray width sort of thing, whereas I need the proper sprayer. Have we got room for a proper sprayer in any of these? I don't think we have. I think all of our things are full. I don't have another one of those. How big are the sprayers? How big is a regular sprayer? Was it in here? It's a small. It is a small. So we could put another small shed along here and just put a sprayer in there. Because that's going to be really rubbish. That's going to take forever. They're taking so long doing that field. So long. So, um, yeah, we need to sort that out, really. That's the thing that we need to look at. They've nearly done that field. That is absolutely fine. So let's hurry time on. I think they've pretty much finished. Yeah, these lot are going home, I think. Are you going home? Yeah, you're all going home, I think. You're all done. So that's going to be finished soon. That's good news. 
That moisture wise is okay. Yeah, this this needs some TLC urgently right now. Sienna more orchard tractor sprinkler four. Can we change that to sprinkler one? That's far nearer. Okay, yep, yeah, do that. All the other fields are kind of looking okay now on this side. They're looking okay. Not brilliant. Oh, actually, the cherries could do with a little bit of watering as well because they're going to come out soon. Orchard tractor one, sprinkler two would be better. Go on the near done. You're required over the other side of the farm. Those raspberries are okay. Could do with watering them, I think. Yeah, watering them with all the people. Yep, let's do that. Let's just, again, like we've done before, let's make sure that none of the tractor driving people are doing it. We could do with you with us. Maybe that's what I've been doing. Maybe that's why we tractor drivers down. Because I've been sending them out to water fields. So you go and do that. That's lovely. And I think everything else is going to need some TLC over here. That might need some water again. Let's do that. Uh, let's change the sprinkler. Can we have the trailer with water? Yeah, please. That'll do. Go on then, Eva Riley. You do that one at least. Right. Let's hurry time on. Let's get stuff done. Oh, no, let's not get stuff done. Let's entirely not get stuff done. And let's look at the shiny new things. Oh, the raspberries have been done. Um, hang on, right, pause. I'm going to pause it because there's too there's too much going on. <laughs> so we have our new things here. We've got our seedling production thing. It's got a little van. It's got a little green van. That's very cool. I like the little green van. And it's got these sort of little tiny greenhouses out the back, which are weird. They've got plants in, even though there's nobody working there. So they I don't know what they are, but okay. So that's cool. I like that. It's got some silo things on the side and a little water pump thing. And then we have the mill, which doesn't particularly look very dramatic. It kind of looks okay. Is that got a vehicle? It's got a green little van as well. It's very exciting. Um, but yeah, not quite as exciting as the other buildings. It's more, I suppose it looks like a mill, I guess. It just does exactly what it's supposed to. Uh, okay, how many people work in these then? Two. Is that all? Two people work in there. Okay, and that can make lupine, buckwheat, colza, corn, cu cucumber. Okay, grass, oh, peppers. Oh, it can do all sorts of things. Potatoes, okay, fine, right. Okay, I don't think it could do stuff like that. I just thought it was more the the sort of, you know, the, uh, what don't know what it would be called, like the crops, the, the, I don't know what the actual terminology would be, but things like wheat and oats and rye, that kind of stuff. Not like pumpkins and ras raspberries. We can make raspberry bushes. Oh, that, that is interesting. Uh, okay, no, that, that'll probably go off. Hang on, can we do tomatoes? Can we do tomatoes? Yes, we can make ourselves tomato seedlings. So all the tomatoes we're getting, the excess tomatoes and the excess strawberries, we can turn into seeds and then make seedlings and then sell them. Because we don't need tomato seedlings, we don't need strawberry seedlings. So for the minute, if we switch them on, oh, that's tremendous. Um, yeah, take what you need. Yes, we can turn the strawberries into strawberry seedlings and tomato seedlings. That's very exciting. Right, we need to get some people. We need to get some people to work just there to start with. Uh, is there any room in this house? No. Can we move anybody around? Uh, you two. Yes, we can move George Webb. Let's relocate George Webb to not that house because that's a bit rubbish. That house probably isn't so bad. Uh, yeah, go on then, George Webb. You can go to that house. And you, whoever the other one was... Lexi Riley, you can be relocated to uh, probably not that house isn't the best. That's a terrible house. Um, there, that's not so bad. Permanent house for employees number two behind the slaughterhouse. That's quite a good house to go to. That's OK. You're in the middle. You're kind of nearby everything. So that's not so bad. Then we need to go through and get ourselves two production people. So let's go and see if there's anybody with production and strength. Yes, there is. Leon O'Neill. Um, which which house are you going in? This is very confusing. House number four. Okay, that's good. Is there anyone else with that similar skill set? I bet there is a no. Someone who can do production and look after bees, which is a very weird skill set. But okay, right. Let's find someone else. Let's skill everyone up. Okay, so we have Leon O'Neill and Luca Kaur Kaur. I don't know how you say that, but so Leon and Luca. Go into seeds and seedling production building number one and go forth and do amazing things. So currently, yeah, now look at that. Because we've got them in there and they're good, they've got good skills, it's upped what we make. So I think it was, if we scroll down to the ones we're actually going to be doing, yeah, it was 50. So for each 100 kilograms of strawberries we sent in, they were going to produce 50 strawberry seedlings, 50 units. Now they're producing 62. So it's an extra 25%. That's very cool. I like that. Then look, we can turn sunflowers on and we can turn all the apples. Apple trees were going for an absolute flipping fortune. They were going for a fortune. They were very, very profitable. So yeah, maybe we need to get some of those in as well. Sell, we've got to get some apples soon enough. 
So maybe we can turn those on as well. That'll be very cool. Right, now we need a mill. The only thing about the mill is we don't actually grow any of the things yet. So current production in terms of wheat, rye, corn and barley. Well, let's go and check the flour. And then I'm not averse to buying it in and then selling the flour just to give it something to do for now. So if we go to, not black it out, auto wide to go to the selling bit. So flour, barley flour. Is there no other flour? Is there no other flour available? Uh, okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, let's go to it. Flour, there we go. There's corn flour. Why can we not buy any of the flours? Okay, so corn flour is rubbish. Rye flour is better. Wheat flour is terrible. And barley flour is in the middle. Okay, so rye flour. Rye flour seems the best thing to do. Is that what that field is? Oh, that's oats. So if we buy some rye, if we get some rye in, go to here, go rye. I don't know how much it is. I also don't know why apple tree comes up when you type rye, but there you go. <laughs> Very good. Um, and if we buy ourselves, I don't know, a thousand. Oh, it's absolutely cheap as chips. All right. Uh, how, when does it expire? 2026? Well, let's just buy, I don't know, 5,000 units of it for 1,445, right? That seems alarmingly cheap. Current production, make rye flour, take everything you need and go and do that. That seems far too simple and straightforward. We do need some people, however, to work there, which would be useful. Um, now, do we need to move? They've got eight people in and that's got eight people in. We need to move two people from this house. Oh, you're working in fields. Ah, we can't do that right now. Uh, okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not too bothered about that right now. Uh, okay, is everything else ticking over quite nicely? They should be back on the raspberries in there in a sec. That's lovely. Everything else going okay. Do you know what? Tomato juice is relatively high compared to where it's been for quite a long time. I've got 33,475 units of it in my storage across my whole farm. I'm just going to sell it. 150 grand. Get rid of all the tomato juice, please, for there is much of it it's just lying around. 303 grand. <laughs> 303 grand for frozen strawberries. Yes, please. I will take 303 grand for frozen strawberries. Absolutely. And how is the honey doing? Normally it will tank in the summertime. Yeah, that's not too great. We'll keep that. Right. Okay. That's lovely. Uh, we've got some more strawberries to harvest. So let's get these done. Owen praise be for the 16th of July 2023 because it has started raining. That is fantastic news. The rain is so good because all they look, I did the sunflowers not that long ago, about a month ago, and already the soil moisture is down. It's just going to be a case of constantly watering fields. I think it's just going to be a case of actually going around and just going, right, water that, water that, water that, water that. Which, I mean, yeah, okay, I get it. It's farming. You need to do it. A little bit tedious in having to actually manually tell them to go out and water the fields every time. So this rain, hopefully, if it keeps going, should top everything back up quite nicely. Now, I just sent a watering thing out to this. I just sent one of the people out to go and um, stick a sprinkler in the middle of this field. Which, you know, it's a bit superfluous now, but that's absolutely fine. So yeah, that can top that up. They're not so bad. That field is a little bit rubbish and that field is okay. These fields here, how are the buckwheat and that doing? Yeah, that's that's okay now. That's not so bad. So hopefully the rain will absolutely help with that. The rain will be so useful. So useful. Thank you, weather. If you did a rain dance, if anyone out there did a rain dance, thank you. This this one is on you. Thank you very much. Now, in the uh, off, off camera, off screen, I went and bought an absolute load of this. I just went and bought lots and lots of litres of the anti-weed, anti-fungus, anti-everything, anti-bacterial, whatever it is. Uh, all the stuff. I just thought, do you know what? We need to get all that done. We don't want the orchard sprayer. We want the regular sprayer, which is fine. Except that, I think we need another sprayer. Because we can only spray one field at a time. I'm not using the orchard sprayer on that field because they will be there forever and ever and ever. They'll be there for so long. So, um, yeah, I think we need another sprayer. The only thing is, we, that means we need another garage. That's a bit tedious. But do you know what? I think we can afford it. We've got just about three million. So let's pop a small garage in. Oh, it's teeny tiny in terms of cost as well. That's absolutely fine. Let's drop that just there. Put that in. Get that built. Get ourselves another sprayer. Oh, and the weather is terrible. And it's beautiful. I love the bad weather. It's excellent news for the farm. It's excellent news. Look at that. The soil moisture of these fields is going up. So the sunflowers seem particularly thirsty. The sunflowers seem to need more water than lots of other things. But okay, that's fine. Right, well, whilst we're waiting for that to happen, can we just water this field really quickly? Can we change that to the trailer thing? 
to get that done? Yeah, do that, please. Absolutely. Get that done. You might have to come from the other side of the farm, but I'm not that bothered. Oh, there's so much to do. There's so much harvesting going on. And we've got ourselves lots of things. We've got strawberries and raspberries and all sorts of things. Right, okay. When are things going off? When are things going off? Strawberries 29th, uh, tomatoes 5th of the 8th. Oh, that's fine. Raspberries 24th of the 7th. We might just sell all those. 109 grand. Pin that for a second. Have they got any in here? Oh, absolutely loads. They will not work their way through those. So yeah, sell all those. That's lovely. We're back over 3 million. <laughs> back over 3 million. Yay. All these fields have got sufficient moisture, which is splendid. That field is ready to be harvested. Oh, goodness me. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Machines. Seasonal workforce. Unite. Um, okay. All that lot is looking good. Right. Not the tractor drivers. No, 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 no. Not in any way the tractor drivers. Also take out three of our other working people. In fact, uh, no, that is a big field, isn't it? We need pretty much everybody we can there except the tractor drivers and three people to just keep things ticking over. So yeah, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Uh, the tractor drivers are needed. The tractor drivers are required. Ah, that's in. That's been constructed. That was quick. Goodness me. Right then, buy ourselves a sprayer. Yes, please. Put it in small garage three. Absolutely splendid. I need to wait for that to arrive and then we should deploy that onto the wheat field. Like so. In fact, it looks like the two tractors are having a race. That's tremendous. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Which one's going to be first? Oh, and it's wheat field tractor coming up. But I think oat field tractor might be just ahead. I think oat field tractor might have this. I think oat's easier to drive through. Is the tractor in better condition? Yep, I think oat field tractor is going to get to the end just about. Oat field tractor's there. Oh, yes. Oat field tractor wins the little tractor race. But both those fields are being sprayed. That's good news. The moisture is okay for everything, which is splendid. It's such a relief. They are being harvested. So those raspberries are being harvested. Everything over here is looking good. It's all looking fine. There's lots of moisture in the fields. Maybe not so much on that one, but that's fine for now. We don't need to worry about that right now. Everything over here is looking okay as well. There's plenty of stuff in these. There's thousands of kilograms of tomatoes. There's lots in there. This place has got raspberries and strawberries in it, which is lovely. So we could go through... Maybe we need to sell, to finish this off, what I want to do is sell all those remaining tomatoes, because they'll never get through all those. So yeah, sell all those for 4,300. That is splendid. And then we want to... Have we got some more tomato juice? Oh yeah, sell that. 8,000. Yes, the tomato juice is selling. Sell the frozen strawberries. Absolutely. Frozen raspberries. Prices are rubbish. Don't sell them just yet. Uh, let's get some of these harvested. Let's get that done. It should be the good people that were left behind. Uh, there's quite a lot of people left behind. They must have been doing something else. Quite a few of these people must have been doing some other stuff. So if we can get all that done. Lovely, lovely. Uh, get a tomato one done as well for the sake of it. Yep, yeah, okay. So that leaves four people behind. And then we just want to do some rejigging of this. Now, if I mess that up, is there enough people in here doing stuff? No, okay. So we can't do this right now. What I want to do is move two people out of here into another house, which is fine. And then we'll put to uh, production-based employees. They can come and work in the mill, and the mill can do some stuff. But yeah, we'll do that next time out. That's a kind of focus for next time. Maybe check out the mill. So as the end part of this, let's have a look at what this is doing. So we've got ourselves 187 strawberry seedlings, which is very interesting. So let's have a look then. Can we sell them for a lovely profit? Where are they? Where are they? Ah, they're not going out of the house yet. They're not going out of here yet into a warehouse. They've not actually emptied the 187 seedlings out anywhere. So currently they're still in here waiting for someone to remove them, to put them into a warehouse, and then we can sell them. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I am intrigued by this. This could be so good. A big row of these, a load of these could be brilliant. Turn them into whatever, apple tree trees, like the apple trees and stuff are really expensive. Really expensive. If we go through actually to the market and just have a look at things, can we go to... um? like trees seeds and plants there we go so if we look at an apple tree one apple tree goes for 12.4 is that one unit goes for 12.4 one unit cherry saplings oh my goodness me 17.2 we're going to get some cherry soon can we make cherry saplings in there if we can i'm going to be very happy um raspberry bushes <laughs> raspberry bushes make so much stuff it's ridiculous strawberries oh strawberry seedlings are absolutely rubbish Strawberry seedlings are terrible. What about tomatoes? Oh, I can't have tomatoes. Take strawberries off because we know they're rubbish. Tomatoes are better than strawberries. Okay, right. Well, now we know that, immediately 
Don't bother with tomato. Uh, uh, strawberries. The rubbish. Boo. Away with strawberries. Away with that. 100% on tomatoes. But then can we do cherries? Cherries were cherries were the most. And I've completely forgotten because I have no brain. Uh, yeah, apples were good. Apples were nice and high. I think cherries were the... Were cherries top? Or was something else top? Red peppers are probably not quite so good. No, they're not bad. Pears are not as good as cherries. Potatoes are better. Not very good at all. Pumpkin seeds are probably not very good. Raspberry, yeah, raspberry bushes. Raspberry bushes are ludicrous. So raspberry bushes and cherries we want, really. Raspberry bushes and cherries. Just to get the most stuff out of it. That is splendid. Do you know what? Let's just let's just take them on now. Uh, cherries, yep, absolutely. Take what you need. And raspberries, that's not there. There, raspberries, take what you need. <laughs> Have a third of each. Making me lots of things, please. And do you know what? I think it's time to bring this slightly chaotic part to a close. It's been a little bit slapdash, hasn't it? It's been all over the flipping place. Uh, but yeah, I think we've done okay. Please let me know what you think about my end plan. So end game, 2024. End of 2024. Maybe like Christmas Day will stop or something. Christmas Day will stop. We'll sell all the stuff. We'll see how much money we've got. And we'll sort of call it a day there, I think. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, please, as ever. Because you guys are the ones that are watching it. You're taking the time out of your day to watch this. So I'd be intrigued to know what you think. But then once once we've moved away from that, sell two cows, okay. Once we finish this, the, once the Lovely People's Farm is done, and, you know, we've retired from the Lovely People's Farm, we will be doing some of the scenarios. So Farm Manager 2018 will not be gone from the channel. We'll be doing scenarios. So, um, yeah, do not worry about that. It's just a case of this particular game, because I think we're getting to the point where we have pretty much done everything that we can do in the game. So, um, yeah, scenarios might offer a bit of a fresh challenge. But that is it for now. So hopefully you are enjoying this. Hopefully this was a fun part, even if it was absolutely all over the place. If you did enjoy it, if you did enjoy my absolute lack of any kind of organisational skills, then please do leave a like and also please do subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay, yeah, come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine. 